That was a bit tight. Oh yeah, plenty of room. Ah, cool. This is the problem, I just don't know what to wear. But maybe I just go black and blue. I'll grip the board and then we'll think about it. But I do need my belt. No more laces for me, I'm a grown man now. Went in for my first ever belt. There we go. It's a jaw strengthener. So you just whack it in your mouth and you just bite down. You see the jaw popping out there? Skaters can relate. If you're going away, you just don't want to not bring enough. So you bring everything. So I'm living in London, but I'm in Bristol for a week. It's the Skate Calf premiere and 10 year anniversary on Saturday. So I've just come to like try and get some shit, basically. So I'm on deadline. So this is my sister's area, St. Anne's and Briz, holding it down. Yes. All right. This is my favorite part at the moment. Music on point, skating on point, filming on point. It's actually a sick spot. Or it isn't, but it looks sick on that footage. I'm just getting some prototype calf boards made, which I really appreciate. So I'm just testing a couple of shapes. I'm skating this limousine board at the moment. I used to work in a skate shop. Customers waiting there. I'd like go out back, just like walk slowly so it looked like I was really chill. And then just like five seconds later, I'm just out with the grip. And they're like, how did he do it? Look at that. So apparently people still sand down the edges first, which is just a huge waste of time. You know, these days people just go on the internet meet someone and just say, shall we just meet up? This is the Tinder of gripping. You see, look at that. Now we can get to know each other, you know? It's fine. Boom. F for front. So I do free bolt gang. <laughs> free bolt, free bolt. Sign up by putting free bolts in your truck. Then also you can get the tattoo as well. I'll show you the pictures. Yeah, we're at my sister's house. Let me show you. They made me that. And I used to wear these like insane t-shirts with massive Rebel logos on. But like obviously it looked pretty mental having that in your own, like in your own house. But then this is my sister's house and there's my sister. This is my niece's room. Yeah, I got this picture for my birthday from uh, my ex-wife actually. So it was a really nice gesture, but I hadn't actually landed it. Okay. So this is not a make. For about two and a half years or something, I just like see it every day like, man. Anyway, I've done it since. It's clearly just like, you know, a kid's bedroom just out of nowhere. It's like massive skateboard photo <laughs> of a trick that was never made. This is my sister, Lana. Hi. This is Lana's cabin. Hello. Hello. What's up? This must be the place. Just if you're in Bristol, you need your hair tinted, dyed, maybe a little trim, maybe a balayage. Lock, stock, Bristol, baby. It's in that cabin. Alrighty. There's just certain things I try not to eat, but it depends. Sometimes I'm terrible. Like I was just in Copenhagen and I was literally buying packets of pick and mix and eating chocolate every day. But like I try not to eat like gluten, poofers, polyunsaturated fatty acids. Like it used to just be anything and everything. Because I don't eat certain things, it just, I eat healthier, which is good. Yeah, I kind of give my clients advice on food, but it's up to them at the end of the day. But I don't write like meal plans as such because I'm not a nutritionist. No, I haven't trained today. I don't train every day. I tinker. I do tinker a little. And when I'm sitting like this, I'm basically just stretching my lower back. I don't stretch like passively. Long story short, it's just not gonna be very advantageous. I'm sitting intentionally. I actually train train like once a week with my trainer. Bristol Suspension Bridge. Story about that bridge. I don't know if it's true or not, but there used to be these like big skirts that women would wear like back in the day. And uh, apparently they try and commit suicide off that bridge. I shouldn't laugh, it's not funny, but they'd float down and like survive. They're basically wearing human um, hot air balloons. Naturally, scared, probably let out a fart, Vroom, just float down. A myth. Maybe it's true, I don't know. <laughs> Lloyd's. This is definitely the stomping ground. And I don't mean stomping ground like I stomp tricks. I just mean this is where I grew up. Skate the flat grounds. Flat grounds actually not bad. It's got everything. Well, it's not got everything you need because you don't learn the ramps at Lloyd's, but you do learn the ledges. But you don't even learn tech ledge really unless you're like sick. Just so rounded off. But it's just sick. It's just so fun. We're back, baby. All right, outfit. 
Time to do I do like the green. Does green and blue work? But what about black and blue? So I kind of feel like black and blue. Black. Yeah, yeah, black, black for sure. Oh. Yeah, baby! Oh, that was mine! Good warm up. I don't know why it's called the eight seasons because there's never been eight seasons, it's four. I think because we used to do four seasons when we were kids, all the kick flips, and then I guess we learned heel flips. <laughs> the sound. I'll try a back tail, it's not gonna go, but I'll just do the shortest one ever and push it. <sighs> oh, <God. sighs> it's like the ledge is so dry, it's rusty. It's mental. Look at the floor here. It's like so destroyed. Because it's like it's not from people landing there. It must be from cars. I don't really know. I remember when this was the only problem. Yeah, someone's fixed that. Ugh. So that's you learning it, because you don't have to go fast or anything. And then you just build it up, do the same off second, and then do it down low. All right, then off second. Kick out. <laughs> oh! That was a slow flipper. I was waiting. And then down low. Should I try it? Oh, God. Let's try it. Take it! It might be too wet. Ah! Oh, it! That's not fair. <laughs> kind of raining. So that's how we do it. We go first, second, Lloyd. Rain, 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 go away, come again, another day. Rain, 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 go away. That was the song we were singing. It's a nice memory. R.I.P. Lewis Marnell. <laughs> Woo! Oh, shit. Woo! It stopped raining about, what, five minutes ago? It's already kind of stopping. Like, look, if I wipe that, it'll go wet again. It's just like a bigger version of Bristol. It's, yeah, there's just more going on in it. It's like the capital. But Bristol is sick. Definitely come back one day. So I worked over in a gym more central there, which was a fitness first for a few years. And then I moved to a gym over there, which was called Welshback or Vivo. My friend Guffrey, he was working for a company that had free courses to do like fitness instructor courses. And my mum was already a personal trainer. So I went on that course and then we had to do a, uh, an apprenticeship there kind of thing. I just got to keep the job. And then I did my personal training qualification there. And this was when I was about 22. I worked in a gym until I was 28 when I moved to London. Yeah, now I'm still a personal trainer now. Yes, yeah, it's, it's fun, man. It's good. Got a jerk chicken salad. It's massive. Mmm. <laughs> she had a slam actually off one not long ago. It's my mum, Sally. She's just uh, been scootering around the town. Is it, head over. All bruised. A little bit of bruise. You've got to be careful. This isn't even your house anymore. This is your gym, isn't it? Really? Well, I've got three in one. All in one gym, living room and kitchen. Not for me. <laughs> it's just it's not just for not you. For right well, yeah. But don't even do the step. Just literally go to here as opposed to going with this foot like that. Like, don't jump forward, gently forward. Yeah, okay, nice, yeah. And then exactly the same, but then you follow through. Go on, you got it. Yeah. Touch my fist, fam. That was a good rep. Jeez. So then you're gonna get a stretch and back. So you're gonna stretch out the hip flexor half a second and back. Yeah, that's it. Nice, 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 nice. Yep. Boom. <laughs> if you're doing like slow movements and you need the balance, you just use these, but you can buy some things for like, what? Like 80 pounds each or something? 
My mum's made these. Made All together, probably a tenner max. The balls yeah. are probably, probably about no, six quid. Skate cap premiere, isn't it? This On Saturday. Saturday. Are you coming? Yeah. Leif Sammy is going pro. Finally, because he's been pro since forever. Like, he switched trade Lloyds when he was 17, and then he switched trade Lloyds 17 years later when he's 34. Man's been pro. <laughs> Session on. Kyron's in town now as well. He's sick, he's come down from London. It looks perfect. Jay, make pee. Hello, Bodie. Hello, Wilder. <laughs> What's going on? Huh? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Oh, shit. That was a banging switch hill, though. Switch hill, let's go. Switch hill. Oh! That's my G. This is, this is mate Pete. He's just literally back in the office. He's got his phone to his ear and his laptop. <laughs> oh, that's sticky. Needs so much wax. It was just like, it could have gone so bad. I could have broke my collarbone, but I just got really lucky. Go on. <laughs> Did you get that? I fell and my bum crack, look, it's the shape of my bum crack. Where it just went either side and just squirted the water. Bloody hell. No, just mentally, it's like sets make you feel certain kind of ways, but second just doesn't. You're just like, oh, it's just. Oh, oh my God, that was incredible. What? That is mad. It feels like it would be very hard. That's the thing is like, if I can't try off second, how am I going to get myself to try it down noise? Oh my god. Ah, I took my ankle. Mildly. Tweaked my ankle so savage on the one before. <sighs> so annoying. Angry, just do it. It's like, why can't you just do that in the first place, you silly sausage? Give me a cuddle. <laughs> I need a cuddle. <laughs> like, look, it was the switch flipping ankle. It's like, it's okay, do you know what I mean? Oh, it's like a 10 stair with a rail and you go over the side. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Sick. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. it. Let's, Let's fucking go. go, mate. Keep an eye out for pieces of wood. What have we here? Ah, oh, smaller than it looked. That's what she said. You need a longer bit. Look at this spot up here. And then only one person's actually ever tried it. And it was Keen Will. Lights have stopped for us. He tried to drop it in from the top, stuck <laughs> in the middle bit there, and then flew down to his head. There's footage of it on Instagram. He's got his head split open. He's like, I'm not all right. Oh, no, you see that? I'm not okay. That it's a good spot. So switch pop shove or switch backside flip. Nice to see you again. How is? Yeah, all good. I feel like I can't see that well in these massive trousers. Ooh! Ollie absorption's like hard. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so you have to be like. All right, make sure you turn 180 because you're definitely committing. All right, here we go. God. What's that, sorry? I need you to move on you're not supposed to be skating on the university property, bud. Okay. Double whammy. 
skate gods hate me today. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I haven't skated the green for so long. Oh man, College Green is like literally the stomping ground. This is where I grew up, skating around here all day, every day, just skating around the circle. Look at these. Freak. I've been on Nike for 20 years next year, but I think that I am the longest standing Nike skater, you know, on SB. I might be lying, but I don't think I am. It's been a long time, man. It's been amazing. It's crazy. But I'm trying to find out at the moment. I'm like, when is 20 years? Because that would be quite a nice, like, I don't know, that'd be a nice milestone to know. Colin's been team manager for like 13 years. Like Colin's given me sort of 15, 20 people to like look after and if they need shoes and stuff or if they need travel, um, Airbnbs booked or anything like that, I can just, uh, you know, sort that out for them. So yeah, it's, it's cool, man. It's like, you know, it's just a small thing, but um, I'm stoked to do it. It's kind of like a, a dream, you know, to be able to like do something within skating and help out. And so yeah, man, it's good. Free bolt gang, baby. Cheese. It's so weird, it feels so odd. Let's just commit and take slams. <laughs> I think this is definitely a fucking touch every fist and commit one, right. isn't it? <laughs> commit, commit, yes. full commit, full of voice. <laughs> oh. Ow, fuck's sake. <laughs> Cheers, dog. Well Little flat ground ollie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh my god. That is incredible. Oh, god damn it. Last go though, last go. Yep. <laughs> nah, I'm done. Oh, my hipper. Yeah, fuck it, man. Yeah. Lucky you <sighs> yeah. Fun to be out with the boys, to be honest. Yeah, you just got to duck your head. Yeah. Head down. You know he's bang that. Oh, yeah. Yes, man. Uh, <laughs> All right, so yeah. That was a pretty fun day. It's nice to be back in Bristol. See all my friends, skating Lloyd, skating College Green. And uh, yeah, I do miss this place when I come back. So for the premiere, hopefully some of the tricks you saw me try here, I will do and you'll see them in the skate cap video. Let's roll. <laughs> All right.